Hello and welcome to another Reroll tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write the program through the Reroll planner so that your robot can navigate by using the sensor to exit through exit C on the playing field for the robot racing challenge. So the reason I'm doing this video isn't because I want to teach you everything that you need to know. I mean, it's not a tutorial and it's not the only way to complete the mission, but I want to teach to write a simple program for you so that you will at least know how to write a program for your robot to navigate by using a sensor because I don't want the re I won't like it if the reason that nobody in the end in the competition nobody uses the sensor route is because uh, you don't know how to write the program. So after this I'm gonna teach you a program on using ultrasonic sensor to sense path C so that it can go through so that it's a very simple concept so that you guys can maybe use a program, copy a program completely or even use the same concept and then write your own better program you can modify the program better so that your program will be able so, so that your robot will be able to navigate to exit C so let's get started and then let's go to the computer to write the program okay so now I'm going to teach you how to write the planner program for to allow your robot to navigate to exit C so here we're back so here's a new program and the canvas so as always, you need to start with the start block. So here's the start block. Place it here. So depending on which sensor you use, so this example because I use the ultrasonic sensor, so I'll be dragging it up. So you can use the other sensors as well. So for the ultrasonic sensor, I'm going to drag it out and then connect it to the start. Okay. So for the distance, since I know that the distance, the width of the path is 43 cm, so around that would be enough. I just write. 40 cm. So please please remember that this is measured at in millimeters. So if you want 40 cm, you need to write 400 millimeters. Okay, so remember to convert the unit. So with that done, the upper output is for greater than, and then the lower output is for less than. So if the distance is greater than 40 cm, it means that there's no more wall. So for the upper one, I need it to straight to the left. So drag in the motion file and open whatever program, whatever motion file you use. I just use mine. So my name is uh, straight dot two. So I connect it. Then later another motion file, which is for if the distance is less than forty cm, which means that there's still the the wall is still there, so it needs to move forward. Then connect it. So this is the program. Now one problem is if I run this program just like this, it will just run only once. The program needs to be continuous because it needs to move forward, it needs to check if there's a wall it will move forward and then after that it will check again if the wall is still there it will move forward and then it will check again if the wall is still forward and then finally once it's checked and then it sees that the distance is greater than 40 cm which it means that the wall is no longer there it will move to greater than, which is this one. Okay, so with that, I need to make sure that the program loops. So I'll put here this, allow the program to loop. So once this motion finishes, it will go back to the front and then check again. And then it will, the motion will run co corresponding to the distance. And that's the program that we will use for the robot. Now I'll upload the program. Once it's done, we'll be able to see how the program runs. So now, I'm going to test out the program. So, we know that I'm going to use this lid for the reroll box as the wall to demo it. So by right, because we know that I program the robot to move forward when it sees something and then move to the left when it doesn't see anything. So, we're going to test, test out how it works out. So, I'm going to play the program. <laughs> So you can see that it worked. So I like to say that um, just to correct, just to clarify, maybe you've noticed that if I use a program that this is just a smooth, straightforward program, it doesn't use a sensor. So this is a program. So you notice that the movement is more continuous compared to the previous program, where once it moves the step, it will stop for a while and then move another step and stop for a while. The reason it stops is because the sensor needs to sense whether there's something 
before moving to the next step. So if you're using this, uh, please uh, remember to consider this that when the sensor needs to send something, there's a delay. So maybe you need to incorporate that into your strategy or your plan for your want to complete the track. And that's the end of the video. So by now, I'm pretty sure that you all, you all already have a very clear idea on what the competition is like, the challenge. So as you can see in this video, there are basically two strategies that two strategies that you can follow. You can move forward like Utan to reach the track to the so you can reach the exit on the opposite side of the track, or you can follow this robot here that we built today to navigate and exit through exit C. Of course, there are other ways to accomplish this and. It can be based on your program, it can be based on your robot's design, maybe you can come up with a very special idea on how to complete this mission. But I think that everything is just based on your imagination, so be creative and try whatever you like. You don't have to follow this or any previous models, just build based on your imagination. Now if you have any questions, remember to comment in the YouTube comment section or on Facebook in the comment, on, at the comment section. If you ask a question, we will try to answer it as quickly as possible. And finally, remember to follow our page on Facebook because as you know just now, we, I just done a very basic run through on the rules. So in the future, we will be posting a more complete list of rules and, like, and regulations for you to follow. So you, it will be more clear on the rules and the things. So good luck on preparing for the competition and that's the end of the video. Thank you.